So it's been a few chapters since the whole Gail is mine and I am his and she has not thought about him since. <laughs> I mean, at least commit, you know, stick with it. Chapter 12 is so short, I don't I don't see how anything important is going to happen in it. It's like it's like five pages. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Okay, I'm being told that I have to start recording now. <laughs> Peter now. <laughs> They're not gonna love to him live twice. <laughs> oh. Then I get it, what it means, at least for me. District 12 only has three existing victors to choose from. Two male, one female. I am going back into the arena. <laughs> Peter's argument is that since I chose you, I now owe him anything he wants. And what he wants is the chance to go in again to protect you. Oh. Would Gail do that? No. No. <laughs> no, no, he wouldn't. You could live a hundred lifetimes and not deserve him, you know, Hamish says. <laughs> I turn to Hamish. Don't worry, I'll get you more liquor. Then I'll turn you both in, let you sober up in the stocks, says PETA. <laughs> Merlin! <laughs> <laughs> He's in his Arthur era. <laughs> and I'm left staring out the window, watching District 12 disappear, with all my goodbyes still hanging on my lips. <laughs> Oh my god. They were meant to go with embraces and kisses, and a stroke of Prim's hair, a caress of Gail's face, a squeeze of Madge's hand. They cannot be delivered with a wooden box containing my cold, stiff body. Bars. Oh my god. <laughs> I find myself in the position of having to console them. Since I'm the person going in to be slaughtered, this is somewhat annoying. Finnick! Finnick! This is the guy y'all can't shut up about. <laughs> the outfit they gave Finnick! He's draped in a golden net that's strategically knotted at his groin so that he can't technically be called naked, but he's about as close as you can get. Jeez. He wets his lips just ever so slightly with his tongue. How do you do that sexily? What happened to your pretty little girl dresses? <laughs> I think Finnick being a sleaze is so funny. Like, what a little man whore. <laughs> slay. Slay, Finnick. Johanna just stripping in the elevator. Hello? Isn't this the scene everybody talks about um, in the movies? Um, where everyone simps over her? Johanna Mason is naked again and oiling her skin down for a wrestling lesson. What is wrong with her? What is wrong with her? Wait, stop. Wait, 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 wait. Gail is two grades older than her? He's so immature. Wait, wait, wait. Then if he's... Why does he act like that? Come on. Are you kidding? Now I'm confused. Because I know Katniss and Peeta both make it out of this book. I, there wouldn't be a third one if that weren't the case. So how the hell do they make it out of the Hunger Games again? Caesar, do you think all our friends here can keep a secret? What secret? What are you playing at, Peeta? We're already married, says Peeta quietly. Well, I know that's not true. If it weren't for the baby, what? That's not... <laughs> 
<laughs> I knew, I know that's not true. And that got me, damn. Maybe I think that too, Caesar, says Peter bitterly. If it weren't for the baby, get this man an acting degree. What the fuck? <laughs> Peter is the king of improv. Peter, yes, and Malark. Oh my God. He's crazy. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, let the 75th Hunger Games begin. I really thought Peter was dead for a minute. Oh my God. <laughs> Peter's artificial leg catches in a knot of creepers. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Poor Finnick. Is this the first time in your life you haven't looked pretty, I say? It must be. The sensation's completely new. How have you managed it all these years, he asks. Just avoid mirrors. You'll forget about it, I say. Not if I keep looking at you, he says. <laughs> Each hour begins a new horror, a new game maker weapon, and ends the previous. Lightning, blood rain, fog, monkeys... What is this? God trying to convince the Pharaoh to let the Jews out of Egypt? Oh my God. That's when I hear the scream, so full of fear and pain it ices my blood and so familiar. Something, 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 something from reaching my little sister. Prim's not in the arena. Is she? Okay, there's like two chapters left. How is there two chapters left? What the fuck happens in two chapters? Oh, it was a jabber J, not Prim. Oh, that's sick. That's, that's just sick. And finally, I give up and curl up beside Sphinnick, trying to block out the excruciating sounds of Prim, Gail, my mother, Madge, Rory, Vic, even Posey. Helpless little Posey. That's sick. That's, that's sick. The locket? <laughs> that was evil. Peter knew, oh, That's devious. That's devious. Oh my gosh. Damn. He pla he really planned that. Damn. Damn. He's scary. He could be like a cult leader. I might cry. I might cry. No one really needs me, he says. I do, I say. I need you. Fuck. Oh my god. Peter rinses the pearl off in the water and hands it to me. For you. I hold it out on my palm and examine its iridescent surface in the sunlight. Yes, I will keep it. For the few remaining hours of my life, I will keep it close. The last gift from Peta, the only one I can really accept. Perhaps it will give me strength in the final moments. I hope it makes it back to District 12. Surely my mother and Prim will know to return it to Peta before they bury my body. Okay, the bread rolls have to mean something, and I cannot figure out what the fuck they mean. My eyes strain to capture one last image of beauty to take with me. Right before the explosions begin, I find a star. <laughs> wait, she just gets lifted out of the Hunger Games? What? Wait, 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 what? How many pages do I have left? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think it's safe to say I have no clue what the hell is going on. Mm-hmm. There was a plan to break us out of the arena from the moment the quell was announced? What is going on? What did I say? I was right! 
The bread we received in the arena was code for the time of the rescue. Wait, 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 Vita was picked up by the Capitol? Wait, 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 wait. Bring my boy home. Bring my boy home. Oh, shit! I lunge across the table and rake mine down. And he just, ooh! Like bait, I say to the ceiling, like how they'll use Annie for bait, Finnick. I hear him weeping, but I don't care. <gasps> She's mad. She's lost it. She's off her rocker. What is Gail doing here? Gail, what the? What the fuck are y'all doing here? Katniss, there is no District 12. It was all a dream. No, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Safe to say, I'm confused. Safe to say, I have no idea what's going to happen next. Safe to say, I'm ordering the third book as we speak.